What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Marsh Forever. I'm Eric. And my name is Tiana. And today we will be doing a video on the pros and cons of purchasing a resale property. Yes. So we have about three to four pros we're going to discuss and three cons we're going to discuss as well. In this video we're not here to tell you whether you should or you should not purchase a resale because obviously we have and it worked out. A lot of people have, um, but we want to just go over the pros and cons. So if you think about shopping around for a resale property, um, just keep in mind there's pros and cons in any situation, whether you're doing a resale, whether you've inherited a home from your family, or whether you're doing new construction. Um, you have to think about what works best for your circumstances and your family. So we're just here to give general information from what we've experienced. Um, so take it just as that, just our opinion. You ready? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna start with the first pro. The first pro is when purchasing a resale property, the property, the house, as well as the community, they're both already established. Mm -hmm. So when you walk into um, the house, everything is final. You can determine whether or not you like it, whether you don't like it. And if you don't like it, you can always go somewhere else find something you're looking for. Um, even when it comes to the community, uh, the community is already established. The community is, you know, gonna have a certain number of housing, certain uh, amenities like community centers or uh, basketball courts, playgrounds or pools, um, everything of that sort. You can also uh, investigate the area, you know. Um, you can check the crime in the area. Um, you can call your local police station, ask them, you know, how, you know, ask them about the area, you know, what it's going to be like, any crime trends. Um, I use two apps, Nextdoor as well as the Ring Doorbell, and I get uh, updates on literally everything that happens, not just in my neighborhood, but in the neighborhoods nearby. So, the first con we wrote down was that it's a relatively quick decision, especially in this market. Once you see a house, you have to like put in an offer. You don't really have time to think about it, to meditate on it, and really think if it's the decision for you. Because while you're thinking about it, somebody else who saw it yesterday thought about it and already put their offer in. Um, and so for us, when we came and saw this house, we seen, this was the second house we saw, and then we instantly knew this was it and went back to the office and wrote in our, um, our offer. Um, I think that that's the con because once you actually buy the house, you walk into it and was like, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like that. And we were first time home buyers, so we just seen the space and fell in love. But like this go around, we're like, oh, nope, 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 nope. So I guess if you're a first time home buyer, you have to just go in knowing what you want because it's such a quick decision and you have so much competition that you kind of really got to be ready. So like Eric said, investigating your area and stuff like that is key so that you really feel like you made the best decision. Yeah. So the second pro in purchasing a resale property is it's less expensive. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when you go to or entertain the idea of buying a new build, like you have to worry about a budget, a strict budget, mm -hmm. upgrades, and sometimes the type of flooring gets upgrades, you know, the appliances is an upgrade, certain structures with the walls, the ceiling, I mean, even the porch. Again, when you purchase in a resale, everything is final. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about different customizations mm -hmm. and all of these different fees and the headache that is associated <laughs> with that. So yeah, it's, it's less expensive. Right, so. yeah. Um, the second con is you really don't know the hidden problems until you actually live there. So there are just certain things that you won't notice until you've actually lived in the house. So for example, for us, we knew that we were going to have to replace the AC unit, but we didn't know how bad it was. We didn't know that we were going to have to, and we didn't know we were going to have to do it so soon. Mm -hmm. But for another example, we moved in and I think, two weeks to a month later the dryer went out. We wouldn't have known that by just seeing the house and it looked like it was in good condition. Then right after that, 
the refrigerator started leaking so we had to replace that and so it was like it was so frustrating like oh my gosh i'm walking in and we knew the appliances were older but again we didn't know how much life they had on them so um when you walk in it's just great to have like some cushion so that you can get those things done if you need to or have a you know that home warranty yeah mm -hmm. the third pro this is the funnest um pro out of the first two i gave it's the fact that you can add value mm -hmm into your property mm -hmm. um, when we first came into this house it was like crazy like this mm -hmm. house was so dated like the colors on the wall was ridiculous the flooring, um, yeah, the flooring. they had wallpaper and, like the wallpaper with like the pear in the kitchen <laughs> like, it was just you know it, it was crazy but the thing is we walked in like being able to see past that and like yeah being able to see past what it, it what it was to what it could be mm -hmm. and so we came in here and did things like just paint um eventually we ended up changing appliances like tiana said another thing we did change the ac unit um we just now redid our uh bathrooms did the carpet my dad and i we actually did the floors um downstairs by us just doing like cosmetic work in our house it added more value right so yeah that's yeah <laughs> um the final con would be the pressure to just walk into your house and want to change things immediately so like i said when you first move into a house sometimes you get that buyer's remorse like i shouldn't have got this house there's so many things to do um like i really hated the appliances like i hated the white appliances I hated the cabinets, I hated the carpet, I hated everything and so when we wore, I hated the wallpaper, I didn't realize how much wallpaper this house had, like almost every single room, even the bedrooms had wallpaper and so when we came in the very very first thing we did was paint everything and the rooms that we didn't paint we just kept the doors closed i didn't want to look at it at all um but that was the very first thing we had to do because that changed the whole look of our house and i just felt like i don't want anyone coming to my house until this is painted or this looks like this or this looks like that so yep. um yeah we do have like a bonus pro if you want to talk about that one the bonus pro well, bonus pro was... Okay, yeah, yeah. So, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the, the bonus pro is the fact that you can benefit off of... You can benefit from the things that the the first owner or the original owner um, put into the house. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, we fell in love with this house because there was a room on the first floor. Yeah. That's a structural thing. This house was built in, what, like 2003? maybe like early to yeah early early 2000s um and so you know i'm sure again when th this was a once a new build so going into it you know that person had to you know pay certain prices to add you know extra room on uh extra room on the first floor or even a full bathroom on mm -hmm. the first floor um you but know it definitely was an upgrade because yeah. the dual door situation and yeah. i I feel like we've been in someone's house or mm -hmm. our neighbors who has that but it's just a study it's not a yeah place. oh yeah we've seen it online yeah. there was a house that went in the market and the the house was like identical to this one yeah. but it wasn't a bedroom it was a study and it was yeah. a half bath and something else they did we benefited from was like having that really huge storage closet across yeah. from the bathroom that Absolutely. was nice that a builder probably wouldn't have created mm -hmm. and then the last thing was the gym when we walked into we didn't say we want a gym room yeah but our gym room is the gym room because that's what it was that's what it was yeah. when we purchased it so we're like oh wow yeah. that was something we never thought about having it so we definitely benefited in that sense and even though we're not drinkers i mean we bought this house when we were 22 so it's like oh they got a bar it's lit yeah. if we got a whole bar yeah. with a fridge uh -huh. so it was like really like a selling point to us like yeah. we didn't go and say we have to have a house with a bar yeah but the fact that it was here we was like let's go like yeah. we want this house we got a gym and a bar in the yeah. basement and a pool table too yeah, so. pool table another thing the sprinklers oh, like yeah. sprinkler system that's the one thing i'm gonna miss about this house like yeah. because sprinkler system it costs like a pretty penny yeah. to get it installed um underground sprinklers yeah, underground too. sprinklers yeah so the fact that that was already Done. um done only thing i had to do was get a plumber out here hook up the pipe um and then to uh 
winterize it and you set know, and, yeah, set the time and all of that. Um, but I mean, again, those are like just the the little uh, things that could could help when it comes to buying a resale. You, you're coming behind someone that kind of like took the first blow. Really. Yeah, it took the expensive blow because yeah. finishing the basement is expensive. Yeah, yeah. it is. Um, well, that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you guys for coming back to our channel or coming for the first time. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any pros or cons to buying a resale, please put it in the comments so that you can help the people in our community who are looking to purchase a resale to help them make the best decision for their circumstance and their family. Um, so we will see you guys next time. Until, what you say? Until the next time. We gotta say that like That's every all time. our time until the next time. We gotta say that all the time. That has to be our outro. Oh, you said. Okay. That's all our time until the next time. And see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> I did it better than you, boo. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> by your side, the thick and the thin. I'll cherish you right till the end. That's all I need.